as bass anglers, what do we do when we're faced with cold, muddy water? Hi there, welcome to the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Hey, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and punch that notification bell. Videos come out three times per week. And if you love, love, love bass fishing, make sure you check out our new blog at thebassfishinglife.com. Thank you so very much. Well, late winter, early spring fishing always ends up with a situation that used to just scare me to death, and that's cold, muddy water. A lot of times we look out, we see the lake or the river all messed up with that muddy water, and we may not even go out that day. Well, one time I was uh, talking to a friend of mine that had fished a lot of different elite series events, and I believe the angler was Shaw Grigsby that told this person this, and it was for a Bassmaster Classic actually on Grand Lake of the Cherokees in Oklahoma, which I fished many times, and it was a cold, cold, miserable event. And you know what he said? He said, somebody is going to win this event. So you might as well get all the discomfort out of your head and it might as well be you. Well, that is a pretty incredible mindset and that same type of thinking process can help us when fishing cold, muddy water. So we need to take the positives out of it. The very first thing that we need to look at when we're faced with those conditions, which I think is actually a huge positive, is it's going to push the fish ultra shallow. And I mean ultra shallow. We're talking all the way up there from that zero feet to three feet, zero to four. They're going to be super up tight on the bank. So you just eliminated more than 99% of the water wherever you're fishing. So that is a huge positive outlook that we can have. We know those fish are going to be ultra shallow. Now the second thing that we have to figure out in cold muddy water is they're going to be tight to cover, especially if it's traditionally a clearer or clear water lake or river, when that muddy water comes in, they're going to get really, really tight to cover. I mean, really tight to it. So as an angler, we need to figure out what is the type of cover they're using on that day. Are they nestled up tight to wood? Are they sitting on rocks? Are they buried up in vegetation? What are they using? If you're fishing a lake that has a lot of docks, maybe they're going to be up tight on docks. And what I have found on those particular days, it seems that if they're on wood, most of them are on wood. If they're on rock, most of them are on rock. Same applies to vegetation and grass. So if I'm fishing a lake or a river and it's really nasty muddy water and I'm getting bit on wood, that is what I am focusing on. I may still put a pitch or two into some rocks or grass, but I'm really focused on wood and looking up ahead down the bank where I can find more of that similar type of cover. So remember, they're going to be super ultra shallow and they're going to be buried up on very specific types of cover and really tight to it. The third thing that we can do when faced with those situations is if we've just had a recent rain, if it happens to be a warmer rain than what the current water temperature is in the lake or river, that is a super positive situation. Wherever you find that warmer water running off into the lake or river, those fish are going to congregate in that warmer water. And this usually applies earlier in the spring than later in the spring when that main body water temperature is still pretty cool. So if you can find warm runoff, that is definitely where you want to focus. Now, people always ask, well, what are the lures? What are the baits that you use in muddy water situations? And I've got several that I pretty much throw exclusively. Number one, I will pitch jigs. So I'm going to have jigs um, tied on. They're going to be your solid colors, your black, black, blue, 
solid brown, maybe a solid blue. It seems those solid colors are easier for the fish to pick out in that muddy water. So I'm going to have a jig on. I'm going to be pitching right up to that tight shallow cover. And I prefer personally a quarter ounce jig. It's got a little bit slower fall rate to it. I just really prefer those lighter jigs. Maybe your favorite is a half ounce, but a pitching jig is probably my number one choice for muddy water. And I'll tell you, number two is getting closer and closer to taking over number one, and that is a bladed jig or a chatterbait style jig. I just have tremendous success in muddy, dirty water with bladed jigs. A couple of summers ago, I was fishing a lake in Wisconsin that it, it was so muddy that I almost, when I pulled up to the boat ramp, I just about didn't even put the truck in park. I just wheeled right around and got out of there. But nope, nope, I said, I'm gonna came here to fish, so I'm gonna fish it. I mean, visibility was a couple inches. It was just absolute dirt. And bladed jigs came through so well. We caught a bunch of fish on them. So a bladed jig is quickly sliding up to that number one spot for fishing muddy water conditions. Uh, my third one has got to be a square bill crankbait. I love square bills in muddy water. One, because they crawl through shallow water really well. I could use a little 1.5 up there and it'll stay up in that ultra shallow water. And with the bill design, it comes up and over wood. I can bang it through rocks. I can rip it through vegetation. So a square bill crankbait is an excellent choice for shallow, muddy water situations. It's got the rattles in there that help out as well. And once again, I'm going with more of your solid colors in that particular situation. One of my favorite muddy water baits is chartreuse with a black back. I really, really like that one. And then probably my fourth bait for muddy water situations is the popular traditional spinner bait. Now I will make sure I've got a different blade set up so I'm not going to have my willow leaves on there. I want some blades with a little bit more thump so either Indiana blades, Colorados, and I might even go with painted blades in this particular situation. Once again solid colors of painted chartreuse or a lot of people use orange blades or a red blade, a really bright color. But a spinner bait is another excellent muddy water bait. It can be fished quickly. It can come through all kinds of just horrible, nasty stuff without getting hung up. I will make sure I've got that trailer hook on there though, uh, because those fish don't always get a great look at it in the muddy water. And I want to increase my hookup ratios with that. So those are probably my four go-to baits, a pitching jig, a bladed jig, a square bill crankbait, and then a spinner bait. And I've got fairly just typical line as far as you know, anywhere from 10 pound to 15 pound on my, my crankbaits. Now my jig, pitching jig, I'm gonna have braid on there, 50 pound braid, but nothing too out of the ordinary there. And then th the traditional rod setup as well for each one of those situations. And we've talked about that. As a matter of fact, I can drop a link down below uh, to a video about technique specific rods and same with the reels a normal reel i would use for fishing jigs bladed jigs that's gonna that setup's not gonna change but if we can take one thing out of muddy water fishing that is the fish are going to be so shallow and i don't know about you i love to pitch or to fish around shallow cover just beat that bank put the trolling motor down it's one of my favorite ways to fish so make sure the next time you're faced with that situation and in the spring late winter it is going to happen more often than we like take the positives out of it and you can still have an excellent day on the water hey don't forget to go out and encourage someone today you never know what a difference you're going to make in their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers